Hello. This video is about using Windows System Restore. System Restore is a way of winding back your Windows settings so that if you've installed a driver or some update or installed a program which has messed up your system, there's a fair chance that you can wind back the system to prior to the install and have it all fixed basically. Um, this is, this can also fix things like if you've made some changes to the registry or if I don't know, the cat has come in and danced over the keyboard and done something you can wind it back. You cannot wind your documents back with this. Um, Windows does have a system for protecting previous versions of documents and it's closely related to this, it's part of the same system. But when you're just doing System Restore, it's only the Windows settings and the Windows system programs that are actually protected. Um, if you want to protect your documents, you must have a backup system in place. Um, the system protection system for protecting your documents is only temporary protection anyway. It's handy. Um, but this video is about system restore rather than the document protection side of things. So if you've installed some program that's messed your system up, what you need is system restore. There are a lot of ways of getting to it, <coughs> but probably the easiest, or one of the easiest, is to go to control panel. This is Windows 7. Go to System and Security, or you might have a different view. In which case you go to System. But if we go back to the other view, most people's computers start on this. You go to System and Security, which is the same place. System, same place. System Protection. And you'll see here, if I pull this into the middle of the screen a bit, it's all set up. Now, if you find that this is off, then you'll need to configure it. Set it so it restores system settings and previous versions of files where it can. Set some reasonable amount of space on your disk drive. A few hundred megabytes should be plenty for most. and OK it. And hopefully you'll find that it's there. There are occasions when um, it isn't going to work and I'll speak about that at the end. Now what I'm going to do is create a system restore point first of all and then we can see how we can use it to fix problems with the system. So let's create a restore. All you have to do is hit create and give it a name. everything okay. It'll take a few seconds taking a what it what is known as a snapshot of your system. It records the system state and later on you can wind back to it. Now the thing about system protection is it doesn't necessarily keep all these um, restore points indefinitely. If it runs out of space it'll just wipe out the oldest ones and put new ones on. But it's well worth making a restore point before you make any dodgy changes to your computer like installing suspect software, fiddling about with the registry, any, anything of that sort really. Um, it takes it a few seconds and there we go, it's done. Alright, so Okay. Now I suppose I can check that it's there by clicking on that. This is the normal screen that comes up. You might have another one offering you a choice of reverting to the to the previous state. You might if you've just done something. Um, otherwise, there it is, and those are previous restore points. So we'll go out of this for the moment. Everything's done, and let's mess up the system a bit, shall we? Um, I 
let's download a program. This is a good program for removing junk. Um, and let's get it from here because I know CNET used to be a reputable company, but now when you download their junk, or ra rather when you download programs from them, if you just do it in the straightforward way that most people will, it will install a load of garbage on your machine in addition to the program you want. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we'll see if uh, I'm able to undo that damage with System Restore. You can't, um, yes, I'll save it to the desktop, okay. You can't always undo that kind of damage, um, but mostly you can. Um, okay, is it downloaded? Good. Whoosh. There it is. I'm going to run as administrator. You can just open it, it'll prompt you like this for most users. To say, is it okay to mess up your system? Sure, I want to uninstall. I want to install the program I asked for, which is that one. Um, most people will just say, "Oh, what's all this?" Yeah, let's do it. Conduit search. I don't know. Whoosh. Whoosh. Whatever. Right. Accept. Whew. This is because we've been conditioned by years and years of installing programs to to know that there's just junk on those next screens, you know, licenses and rubbish of that sort. Um, but advertisers now realise that you don't look at it, so they can stick all sorts of stuff there. So right, there's Adware Cleaner, but the other stuff is installing as well, so my PC backup has just arrived. Did I ask for that? Well, I did because I wasn't reading those screens. Um, is it still busy? I don't know. Let's have a look. Are the other programs in there as well? Looks like it's done. Well, let's open Firefox and see what we get. Oh, we're still okay at the moment. Doesn't seem to have uh, messed anything up, does it? Search for something that seems to be doing it properly. Good. That may be because I have an antivirus program which is maybe silently blocking all this garbage. What if I turn it off? Oh, look, stuff is coming here still. It's still installing stuff. Let's wait a bit for it. Antivirus programs are, of course, important. Oh, here's Search Protect. It has arrived. This is the, uh, the nastiest one. See if it's done anything. I'm expecting it to change my searches. Because conduit search is a, uh, some of the worst scumware that's around at the moment. Yes, it's, there we go. My search screen has now changed. And my searches are now uh, ruined. <coughs> I'm going to get false warnings about stuff on my PC. It's terrible. What will happen if I do a search? load of adverts. Oh, goodness knows. Well, <laughs> I'm not even allowed to go there. How about that? So, okay, I've ruined my computer now. How the heck do I undo that? Well, let's hope that System Restore is not disabled by this nasty thing. Control panel. It's still putting junk up here. Right. System and security. 
system system protection these things are appearing still um, I should probably be a bit, be, bit patient and let it finish installing all this junk but really uh, I don't want it and um, we all know that hey system restore look at this rubbish coming up now number of issues found what nonsense okay I'm going to try and restore. I don't know if there are more restore points. No, not on my system. Now, what will be affected if I do this restore? Which programs will be deleted, in other words? <coughs> Give it a few seconds to look. You can see already that the uh, the junk is there, plus one update that um, Windows has put in, but the updates will come back. <laughs> so let's do it. That's the one. Go. Once started, System Restore cannot be interrupted. That's not really true. You can interrupt it, but it will mess up your system. <coughs> so don't interrupt it. That's what they mean. Go. <coughs> Probably some of the nastiest bugs out there can even block system restore. But there are ways around, it, around that too, which I'll discuss later on. This is all that most people will need to do. You have to have a good restore point to go back to, of course. But that's what I did in the first place, was make that everything OK restore point. found for goodness sake oh. Oh, liars um, let's just wait for it while that rubbish does fake scans in the background they want to sell me um, some fake <laughs> antivirus or some such software system repair software or something you don't need any of that. Never get it. Only get things that you have researched and which are proper. System Restore has done its job and it is now restarting the computer. And fingers crossed when it comes back it will actually be as it was in the first place. Sometimes when doing System Restore you may have to turn off your antivirus program because obviously System Restore is fiddling with system settings and your antivirus program might just complain about it. Most of them are aware of it, um, but you never know. Now I don't want to boot from CD, so I'll just leave that and 
Let's get back into Windows. Computed successfully, and you can see. First of all, my documents have not been affected, and the junk is gone. Phew. So if I go to Firefox now, hopefully, it will open with a proper search in it, and not this conduit search, search protect garbage that was there. That was scary stuff, seeing all that rubbish come onto the screen, I have to say. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, well, what have... Oh, no, I don't want that installation. Nope. That is one of the things. Was it still floating around? That's a shame. But my search is back. So I imagine control panel. Maybe that's just an add-in. Um, I'll just make sure it's not in the programs list. No, it isn't. In fact, not much is there, is there? That's good. So probably in Firefox's add-ins or something, there's a... You press Alt to get up the, uh, the traditional menu. Yeah, I can remove that. Boff. And you would do the same or something similar in your other browsers if I choose Chrome. There are add-ins in there somewhere. It's probably sitting around in there. I think it's under Tools. Yes, I see it's still in there. Oh dear. Tools, Extensions. So Chrome hasn't been cleaned up properly, but I can disable that and bin it indeed. Remove. Thank you. And the other thing I have to do is go to Chrome's settings. Make sure that it opens not search conduit, but something decent. Google, for example. Okay and make sure that my home button, get rid of that, home page should also be Google. You see how this muck insinuates itself into your system? Get rid of that. I'll set this as the default, okay, and then get rid of conduit search. Done. My word. Now we're safe in Chrome. I might actually double check Firefox. Um, just make sure that the default search it looks all right to me. Yes. Internet Explorer, similar. So the system has been restored, but some of your bits and pieces are still personalised, so you just have to double check it. Okay, the search home page appears to be correct. It's going to Google. And check the add ons. Bing and Google, well, fine. Nothing wrong there. Don't want changes, thank you. 
looks good. Um, anything else? Just to make sure. Internet options, there's nothing unusual there. No, nope, good. It all looks fine. So, the system is restored with a little bit of hands-on maintenance. <coughs> and if I look in System Restore now, System Protection, go to System Restore. I have the option to undo it. Obviously I don't want to do that in this case. <laughs> Instead, I just want to see what restore points are there. I don't want to undo the system restore I've just done because it'll put all that rubbish back. Um, I might. I, what I want to do is check that this everything is okay is still there, and it is. So that's good. So I can just cancel out of this. It's all fine. What if I was, hadn't been able to run system restore or it wasn't able to restore things? What do I do then? Well, one thing you can try is to run System Restore in safe mode. Safe mode is a diagnostic mode in Windows in which most stuff is not allowed to run. Windows just runs an absolutely minimally basic set of system files and that's it. Um, you can restart your computer and in the black screen before the Windows logo comes up you have to tap the F8 key. Usually you have to tap it a few times and it'll pop up with a menu. Now, most people have a bit of trouble getting this F8 key thing to work. There's another way. Go to msconfig. Just type in the search box there, msconfig, and run that. Um, you will need to run it as administrator, or it'll pop up. Now, go to boot. Safe boot with network. This is so you can download any tools that you need, like antivirus scanners and what have you. Okay, So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to boot into safe mode and we'll try system restore again. I don't know if I need to mess the machine up first or what, but uh, let's, let's just do it. Eh? Restart. Don't want to boot from CD. I should take it out really, but we'll be using it later. Right, you get all this writing on the screen when you're loading into safe mode. That's because it's it's for engineers to look at <coughs> so they can see what's going on. When you're booting up normally it shows you that pretty blue screen, but you can't see what's failing. nearly there hopefully. And here we are. You see it says safe mode in each of the four corners of the screen. Here, here, so on, and it'll bring up this help and support stuff. So you can read about that at your leisure if you want to know what help and support is available on how to use safe mode. But I'm going to show you anyway. So let's try and do a system restore from here. It's just the same. You go to control panel and system. Notice we have the small icons view this time for some reason. And, ooh, not there, right? Not there either. Not there. 
Well, possibly we can do it some other way. RSTRUI, that's Restore User Interface. That is the secret name of System Restore. Bop, up here it comes. We have the option to undo that last restore again. Or we can choose everything is OK and restore it again. There's no point because I've done it. So, but that's what you would do. Just hit next and off it goes. Um, might as well. Why not, eh? However, when it reboots, it will come back into safe mode, and we don't want that. So first, we have to make sure it comes back into normal mode. MS config again. Run as administrator. MS for Microsoft config for configuration. We want normal boot. There you go. Apply. OK, exit without restart just at the moment because we're going to do our restore first. Note that if System Restore is being run from safe mode, it cannot be undone. You'd want to run it from safe mode if the nastiness on your machine is blocking it from working. The odds are it will work in safe mode because the pest virus malware will probably not be running in safe mode. They have great difficulty running in that mode and that's the idea. The disadvantage of safe mode is that a lot of programs you want to use are also not much use in safe mode. Apart from anything else, the screen resolution is terribly awful. As well as running safe mode with RSTRUI, Restore User Interface, you might try going to Programs, Accessories, System Tools, and there may be a system protection link in there. Ignore that. We'll just let it boot up normally into normal mode. You see it's come up with our pretty pictures and stuff, so we know we're going into normal mode. And there you go, back to normal again. Just wait a second for the little blue circle. Now probably I'll have to fix these browsers again. Seems okay. Double check.
No, they're okay. That's good. The thing wasn't actually lurking on the system. It's just some of its settings were lying around. You may find there are links to it in the history um, or something of that sort. But they're done. Now, supposing you can't even get your computer to boot into safe mode. It, supposing your system is so badly crashed that it can't boot into Windows. <coughs> That's when you need to boot from your Windows CD. <coughs> so let's do that, shall we? This time. I will have to hit the button to boot from the CD. <coughs> Press any key, yes please. Now it's loading, it's booting from my Windows DVD. If you don't have a Windows DVD, you may have a system repair disk which you should create while your system is working. That's something I might make, may make another short video about at some point. Um, let's set the language. I'm in jolly old blighty here, so let's set it to British English. <coughs> Next. Now we don't want to install it. No, 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 no. What we want to do is repair your computer. Make sure you don't install. Okay. Just repair. And it'll look to see what options there are. Use recovery tools, that's what we want to do. We don't want to do this. If there's no operating system here or no disk, you may just have to load some special drivers. Supposing you have an old fashioned SCSI drive or something, you may have to load drivers off a disk for, to make it work first. But for 99.9% .9 of you, you'll see your windows there. You just you just click next. And what we need to there are other options, don't use them. Use System Restore. And here we go. Everything OK? Yes. Next. This is right from the disk, so there are no bad guys on this at all. It's loaded up straight from the DVD. So as long as your system restore settings are uninfected themselves, which they're likely to be uninfected, you can do the restore and it will work. And again, it cannot be undone because it's coming from here. There's no way for it to save it. It doesn't know enough about your system to save previous settings. In fact, it's just going to do apply that those changes and off you go. It's a little slower in this mode than uh, it would be um, using other methods because it's reading stuff from the DVD, I suppose. Um, but we'll just wait for it. If it goes on too long, I'll pause the recording or snip a bit out or something.
finished. There we go. <coughs> Click restart. And all we do is restart into normal mode and everything will be back. Ignore that. Now there's one more thing that's worth showing you. You'll, you'll encounter it only rarely. Um, which is sometimes when you try to start uh, system restore um, you'll get some error messages popping up about shadow copy services. It's probably worth mentioning. So let's get into Windows and then I'll, I'll show you what that is. Let's wait for the little blue circle. This picture, by the way, is uh, the Albert Memorial near the Albert Hall, the Royal Albert Hall, in Hyde Park or Kensington Gardens in London. This is a statue representing Europe. There's, there's one of Asia, the Americas, and, and uh, somewhere else. Africa, of course. <laughs> Um, and industry and various other things. There's a nice little uh, memorial here. Anyway, we're back in. So, if when you go to System Restore, might as well do it, Control Panel, System Security, System, System Protection, if there are no drives shown there, that's uh, <coughs> a bit of an issue. You might also have some error message popping up, as I say, about virtual shadow copy services. You can check your services most quickly by typing in services.msc if you really want to be precise. And then you get just the one with the gear wheel. Run that as administrator. In Windows 7 you have to do that in earlier versions. Um, XP anyway, you didn't have to do that. You either had the rights or you didn't. And let's see what services we have here. If I just drag the column out a bit. There are two that are particularly relevant. Um, Microsoft Software Shadow Copy Provider. If this service isn't running, you must start the service. You can either start it, there'll be a link up there, or click here, or you can go into Properties and choose Start here. You should check that the startup type is either manual or automatic. If it isn't, change it. Doesn't matter which. And the other service is Volume Shadow Copy Service. Same thing. You you may have to, if it's not started, then start it. And again, you can start it here possibly. You can click on the link up there, or you may have to go into properties and make sure that the startup type is automatic or manual. Automatic means it loads up when Windows boots. Manual means it starts if some program needs it. Otherwise it doesn't start, so it saves you a bit of resources. Um, just make sure it's running, basically, and that should allow your system restore to work. You'll probably, you may have to make a restore point at that point, unless there is one. Um, but I hope the video has been helpful. And like it if you like it, share it if you like it, and um, goodbye for now. <laughs>